Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called I'm Not Gonna Miss You by Glenn Campbell. And we ended up cabling this on 5th fret to kind of match the recording. We'll walk through a couple things in reposition. Position. And our main intro actually works around this one main idea, kind of 2nd fret on the G string, the 3rd fret on the G string, the 4th fret on the G string. So we're kind of doing an A note to an A sharp note to a B note kind of stays on the D note, so we could kind of back that up with a D major chord by doing first finger on the G 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E 2nd fret, and then 3rd finger on the B string 3rd fret, and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord that sounds really happy. And around Ds in general though, you may want to lift off the 2nd finger, always a fun finger to lift, it's a D sus 2, or you could add in the pinky on the high E 3rd, D suspend it, and kind of say some stuff around the D chord. You may want to follow that lick actually, and you could kind of start on the D major chord, but then for the third fret on the G string, you may want to do first finger on the high E second, second finger on the G third, third finger on the B string third. That makes a D augmented chord or D plus. And then from there, we can kind of go into kind of a D major six actually, kind of first finger on the high E second, second finger on the B third, third finger on the G string on the fourth fret. So you may want to kind of even follow just that idea, actually kind of working that G string around the chords to kind of match that piano part of the intro. Or you can use a strum pattern, actually. There's a couple different strummings you may want to use through the tune. You could kind of double up on that, actually, kind of a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of an eight down count on each chord. And if you want to get in the lick, actually, you want to do kind of four on the D, four on the D plus, and then four on the D major six. favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 four, four, like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, up, Or you kind of work that with the lick. You could do the D for down, down, up. And then go to the D augmented for down, down, up. And then go to the D major 6 for down, down, up, up, down, up. between the D and the, and the D augmented by doing D with a down, down, up, and you go into D augmented for the up, down, up. Or you may want to do the D with a down, down, and then go to the D augmented for the up, up, down, up. Kind of mixing up the tune a little bit that way, but D, down, up, D plus up, down, up, D major six, D, down, D plus, D major six. Might be a cool way to kind of work it too. Or for myself, I was really digging on a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. Up. And what I mean by that is if you take the D and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we want one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So kind of one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along. One, two, three, four. So all together, you got down, 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 Six for your whole pattern. D plus D major six. Or you can always kind of half that pattern between the D and the D 
augmented by doing D with a down, 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 up. And then go to the D augmented for an up, down, down, up, down. And then do the D major six with your whole down, 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 D plus up, down, down, up, down, and the D major six. And so you want to kind of dig on that too. And then we'll basically be repeating that idea through our verse and then going into our first chorus. And on our first chorus, we start on a G major chord. Normally you do this first finger on the A second, the second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third, and if you strum all those together, all the beautiful sounds of G major. Now you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of working on a slightly more powerful G major. And then from there we'll be going back to our D major chord, but you'll definitely hear the low E string second fret F sharp note come out around that D major. So you may want to take the thumb and kind of cover that low E second fret, or you may dig on a D sus slash F sharp by doing first finger on the low E second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. That might make that a little bit easier to get from that four finger G to the D slash F sharp or D sus slash F sharp. And then we go to into an E minor chord. I normally you do that first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And if you strum all those together. It sounds an E minor chord and sounds so sad. Um, now you may also want to add in third on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of work that as E minor seven. And it's almost like we're halving the G and the D sharp, or D slash F sharp, in a similar way to how we were doing the D and the D augment. So you've got G for four, D slash F sharp for four, and then E minor for a full count of eight. And then back to G for four, D slash F sharp for four, E minor for eight up on an A major chord. You normally do this first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B second, big party on the second fret man. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a big A major chord and it sounds really happy. Now around A's in general you may dig on lifting the third finger, and an A sus two, or you could add in the pinky on the B third for A suspended and kind of say some stuff around it. Or definitely for this key, actually we're, we're in the key of D, um, you could make it an A7 chord lifting off the second finger, always a fun finger to lift. Or you may want to readjust the fingers and put two on the B second, pinky on the high E third. Give it a little bit more bite so we kind of dig on it. And we do our full eight count on the A, and then we do a big A is kind of a big stop, actually, at the end. So we try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have kind of that G, down, up, slash up, sharp, E minor. Flash F sharp, E minor, and then our A, kind of a big down A. Or if you're digging on the 16th, you could or, or the, those halving ideas, actually kind of the down, down, down up on, on the D and the D slash F sharp. Or if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could split that pattern and do the G with the down, 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 up, and then go to the D slash F sharp for the up, down, down, up, down. Try it that way. And G, D slash F sharp, E minor. G, D slash F sharp, E minor. A major. B. So we kind of dig on that too. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our intro, back to our verse, and then kind of going into our second course, which is kind of a variation of our first one. Now the weird part is to play along with Glenn, instead of starting on a D major chord, he's starting on a G major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 5th fret, then now your D major is really a G major chord, and your G major is really a C major chord, and your E minor is really an A minor chord, and the A major is really a D major chord. But to take it from the very beginning, actually we might want to work just that intro idea, kind of working that D chord, D augmented, D major 6, D major, D augmented, D major 6, kind of an idea. Or you can use the down idea for that, kind of the four downs, kind of into our eight downs. So D major, D augmented, D major 6, or you can use the down, down, up, up, down, up.
of times on that first down, or the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can add in a bass for the chord. So on the G, or the D, you'd have the B for the bass. On the G, you'd have low E for the bass. On the D slash F sharp, you'd have low E for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have low E for the bass. And then on the A, you'd have the A for the bass. So we can kind of try with the bass down up, kind of through that tune, that kind of bass down up on the D. D augmented with a bass down up, and then D major six with our whole pattern. chorus. So we tried that with a bass down up up down up. The weird part is kind of where that bass down up on the G and the D slash F sharp. And we got our whole pattern for our E line. Or you could split the pattern G bass down up D slash F sharp up down. That's the basics of how you can strum through I'm Not Gonna Miss You by Glenn Campbell. So, good luck! Hi, 
Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land, this is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it, because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So. Thanks so much for all the love that you give me, and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck, and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. I, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So best of luck to you wherever you are.